If you're a younger girl, don't date older men. They're mad strict. One time I let this guy take me out to dinner and after we ordered our food, I go to check my phone. I'm on my phone for like 30 seconds. He got up and left and left me at the restaurant because I was on my phone. He didn't even say anything either. He just quietly got up and left. <laughs> Shout out to this man. OK, shout out to this man. Either he's been, you know, he's got certain level of life experience and he understands the game or he's been listening to my videos like shout out to this dude, because, you know, I shared a story before where, you know, a woman wouldn't sit in the seat that I instructed her to sit in. And I ended the day right then and there. You get what I'm saying? Um, but I, some of y'all know, some of y'all who've been following me, y'all know that story. Um, some of y'all who just started following me, you might not know that story. But anyway, shout out to that dude. You understand what I'm saying? See, there's a couple of things going on. You know, this is a short video, but there's a couple of things going on that I wanted to bring to your attention, right? First of all, a woman checking her phone on a date, right? Especially on like a first date, a woman checking her phone for absolutely no reason that's an issue. You know, that's definitely a no go for any guy that understands his value. That's definitely a no go. Now you have some situations where it might be tolerated, but there still has, it, ha it has to come with an explanation. So what I'm saying is like, there might be situations where a woman has kids and, you know, she got to make sure she, she keeps her, her phone open. So just in case the kids text her or some shit like that, maybe, maybe you understand. And even with that being said, it's like, even in that type of situation, you still have to be a little bit wary because if she doesn't have her kids situated, if her kids are not safe, then that means she's probably not the type of woman that is um, that has an organized enough life to prioritize dating. Right. So it might not even make sense to continue on with her. OK. And that's just that's just some common sense shit. You understand? If, if she's not if she's not making sure her kids are safe for her to be able to spend time with you, then she ain't the type of woman that you probably want to continue on with anyway. You understand? So checking up a woman, checking her phone on a date, um, especially a first date when you're trying to make an impression, that is a no go. That is disrespectful. That is a woman showing her true intentions right now. Here's the thing. The funny part about why she is making this video is not because she's even interested in this guy, because I'm going to prove to you why exactly she's not interested in this guy. Right. But she's she's just her ego is just pissed off because the dude left her where she stood. And more guys need to be like this. You understand? More guys need to follow this type of protocol. When you're whenever you're spending time with a woman, especially on a first date, you're just getting to know her. And then you start to see these red flags. You don't even have to say anything, bro. You can literally like like he did quietly just get up and leave. You don't have to explain nothing to her. Just bounce. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't got time to be arguing with these chicks. You understand? Because there are women out there that will be very respectful and appreciative of our time and it is our job to just to go out there and find them. This is a part of designing the type of life that you actually want by by being willing to sacrifice the woman that's in front of you to find the woman that is actually more compatible with you. Now, I'm going to explain to you why I know she wasn't really interested in this guy based on her words. Her words exposed her. You understand? Like I always say, guys, your language exposes you. Well, her language exposes her. Notice that she said, I let this guy take me out to dinner. I let this guy take me out to dinner based on the words that she chose. She didn't say, oh, I went out to dinner with this guy. She didn't say, oh, this guy, you know, it was cool because this guy took me out to dinner or we, you know, I accepted an invitation to dinner. No, she said, I let this guy take me out to dinner. If you really pay attention to her choice of words, she is seeing herself in an advantaged position, right? She thinks that she is the prize. She thinks that taking her out to dinner is a privilege. Well, she doesn't understand that a man choosing to take you somewhere is, is actually the privilege. A man taking his time to pay and take you somewhere for dinner, that is the privilege. And that's something that you're supposed to have gratitude and appreciate, but you're not doing that, right? You think that you're doing him a favor because you're letting him take you out to dinner. So guys, it's things like this that you got to pay attention to. You got to pay attention to the words that they choose to use. It gives you a indicator of their mindset. 
right? And I guarantee you that this is what the guy was noticing. He was noticing these things. He was noticing her attitude. He was noticing the way she was showing up in the situation. And understand that he didn't just leave because of the phone. He was noticing the he was noticing red flags and the phone was probably just the last straw. The phone was the confirmation that this is not the woman that he's supposed to continue spending time with. So he just get up and left. You understand what I'm saying? He just got up and left. <clears throat> because again, that attitude of, oh, I'm letting you take me out to dinner. Trust me, he sensed that attitude, right? He sensed that attitude. I guarantee you, maybe when they actually met up, you know, she probably gave him a, a half-ass church hug, right? So he noticed, oh, she's not really interested in me physically. She doesn't want to give me a real hug. Or, you know, maybe, maybe she was giving him one word answers. Maybe the conversation was stale. You understand what I'm saying? Now, another thing that let me know that she wasn't really interested in this guy she decided to check her phone after the food was ordered. Do you understand? See, here's the thing. She thought she was getting a free meal and she thought, well, we already ordered the food. So now I'm home free. Now I'm going to get a free meal regardless. Right. She should have waited until the food actually got to the table and they started eating. Then, then maybe check her phone if she if she really had to check her phone. But if she was smart, she would have waited till the food got to the table. Then she could have checked the phone because at that point it's like, well, the food is on the table. Now he got to pay for it. But she jumped the gun. <laughs> she jumped the gun. You understand? She wasn't realize she wasn't realizing her attitude. She wasn't realizing that she's dealing with a man that understands his value and understands the game. So. She showed a bunch of red flags. The phone was the last straw. And your man just quietly got up and left her sitting where, where she was at. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so that's another thing that let me know that she was probably more interested in the free meal than she was in the guy. And the guy noticed it, too, because he's an older guy. He's he's been through stuff. He has he has wisdom from experience and he understands what he's dealing with. So he realized, oh. She's just trying to use me for a free meal. You know what? Let me just get up out of here and, and go and go someplace else. He probably took himself to another restaurant and had himself a, a juicy steak. You understand what I'm saying? And probably went to a bar and hollered at a couple of other chicks on his way home. You understand? And had himself a good night instead of staying with somebody that doesn't appreciate the privilege. OK, instead of staying with somebody that doesn't appreciate and is not grateful for the privilege of being taken out for a free meal for somebody giving up their time. Right. You're not you. You don't appreciate it. So why should I give it to you? You see what I'm saying? Now, the reason why he didn't say anything is because there was nothing more to be said. Right. Her actions told him everything he needed to know and him getting up and quietly leaving while she's checking her phone should tell her everything she needs to know. Now, whether or not she learns her lesson, that's left to be said right now. She still thinks, oh, if you're younger, you shouldn't date older guys because they're mad strict and blah, blah, blah. She doesn't understand that she was actually being disrespectful. She doesn't understand that her lack of gratitude, her lack of interest in the guy showed itself and that allowed him to make his decision. You understand what I'm saying? So maybe she's not going to learn her lesson right now. Maybe it'll, it'll dawn on her later on, or maybe not. Again, it really doesn't matter, right? A young girl like her, she's always going to have some, some simp, some dude that's going to give her a free dinner and is not going to have the balls to sacrifice and stand up and quietly leave once he realized that she wasn't compatible. Most average dudes who, who don't have access to this type of information, what they're going to do is they're going to sit there because she's cute, she's fair skinned, you know, she got some nice, uh, some nice jugs. You know what I'm saying? She got some DSLs. If you know, you know, you understand? Like she's, she's a, she's a decent looking chick. She's definitely smashable. You know what I'm saying? And most guys are going to give her the pass. Most guys are going to let her check her phone. They're going to let her give, give off that attitude. They're going to still give her a free meal, even though they know deep down, she's not really interested in them. You understand what I'm saying? But this guy, shout out to him once again. He understood what it was. He saw the red flags and he decided to end the date right then and there because a man understands how to sacrifice and and never compromise. You understand? See, the compromise would be to continue the date just to see if you could possibly get the box. Sacrifice is to end the date right then and there and cut your losses and 
stay on your quest to find a woman who who at least has gratitude. You understand to find a woman who is more compatible and who deserves your time. You understand when you understand your worth, you understand your value as a man. You only want to spend time with people who recognize your value and who appreciate your time and appreciate the gesture and the invitation for a free meal. You get what I'm saying? So it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Hope you got something from this video. Hope you're having a great day. Be good to yourself. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.